and we we'll do all we could for the present uh, governor to be re-elected. Okay, so you used to work with the WHO. How, how will this aspect of your sphere of influence benefit uh, the state now that you are back? Uh, well, I, I have consulted for WHO on several occasions. I, I never really did work for WHO. I, I worked uh, on behalf of WHO the last uh, COVID grant for Nigeria. Nigeria won more than $2 million. Uh, but I work for various other organizations. I work for the World Bank, I work for UK Diffin, I work for you know, Fair Future 360, I work for you know, various uh, NGOs. And um, so the experience that brings into context is that I'm able to understand the political economy of uh, development and of course how human services can be extended to people both within the urban and particularly the artillery areas of urban state and of course you know, when you do the kind of work that I do, you actually see Nigerians in the practical terms, not, you know, the cosmopolitan terms. And then engaging people and linking them to the kind of development that the new administration is doing is, uh, is, uh, is uh, very essential, you know, as we move forward. And if you look at the Isheya mantra of the Abiodo uh, administration, which I've studied uh, over time, even when I was on the other side, you know, there's a component that represents health, which is about social, you know, security and social inclusion, and of course uh, the social welfare and well-being of the people of the state, which cuts across the sector, you know, social safety nets, and of course, you know, helping people to link uh, into the small medium scale industries, and mobilizing, you know, ordinary Nigerians who live in the state to be empowered to, you know, come out of the poverty. Uh, you know, uh, level. And so, uh, my work, and of course, uh, because I work in those areas, I'm also able to, you know, help the state source uh, for some development support across uh, donor communities from the World Bank to Global Fund to Defeat. And then, the next couple of months, I will do the bit I told you to bring some of my friends within the development community to the state. Well, you are from the Ijabo part of the state. What's your encouragement to the people of Ijabo extraction in general, especially as they prepare for these elections? Well, uh, what encourages uh, people of Ijabo is also the same thing that will encourage people from other senatorial districts. Um, you know, for the first time, recent time, we've seen development across the three senatorial districts. Um, and um, because your, your question is uh, deliberately tilted towards my part of the state, which is the general area, I, I'll tell you that uh, the people of uh, this part of the state are witnessing, you know, massive infrastructure development like never before. Um, I, I can tell you the uh, empire Jebu is in the Jebu part of the state, you know, and the state of the heart road that you would love to see. Uh, the airport is coming up, uh, and Lukaku airport is coming up, uh, and uh, the governor had committed to making that happen before the end of this uh, year. Uh, the initial are going to road, I mean, for you to drive from, say, you know, Shagam to my part of uh, the state, it takes you to Ijebu Day before now. But now you can just drive between Elisha and Nagoya. That would have been more attended to four decades. And so, uh, people, uh, the, 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 the interest community groups are being tied by this present administration and people are able to bring their produce, uh, their farm produce, you know, to the, to the cities. And so for, for, for me, uh, the people of Ijebuland have seen, have seen a lot of development in terms of infrastructure, in terms of housing, in terms of education, in terms of agri, agri sector. Mm. Well, well, well thank you so much, Dr. Babatunde. Yeah. My, thank you so much. Time would not permit us to to go any further but thank you so thank much you, for your time. thank you yeah, thank you for the privilege okay. Okay. please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates